Hi, ladies and gentlemen. I haven't done this for a while. Uh, this one, however, is really, really important for me. They all are important for me, but lately I was busy to get the most important stuff across. This is the stuff I was looking forward to get done. You can imagine for a very long time. Uh, I've made the whole thing. I wouldn't say significant progress, but everything is pretty much done. It is just the administrative procedure that is ahead of me. That will be done in Ljubljana. I haven't done this now for some time, but this is a very, very important also groundbreaking audio recording because not only because a gentleman, I get these questions all the time. How is the father doing? How is the father doing? Everybody knew, everybody involved in MK Ultra knew about my father, how the father will be doing, how the father is doing. They all know better than what I do, how the father is doing. The man I have met right there was involved with a psychiatrist from Ljubljana Polia since 1995. He got a discounted real estate in the village next to this one here. A parcel he have purchased, he stated me just four years ago, is the parcel for which I was told he would have to give the money down already sometimes in, uh, I think it was 2008 or something like this. They were doing stuff like this. There was all kinds of stuff that went on. Whether that happened or not, I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but he got involved in this stuff. And uh, I like the guy. The problem is he came close to the people I didn't like. And when that kind of stuff happened, I just no longer wanted to have anything to do with the people. He, he was not the only one. He was not the only casualty. Of this. It was other people too. As soon as he would come close to the people like psychiatrists from Ljubljana Polje or police investigators and you befriended them and this and that, you no longer were my friend. I mean, this is, this is just the basic rules of MK Ultra. That's how basically it went on. Now, let's go and let's do it. Uh, he is from Ljubljana. Ljubljana is the capital of Slovenia. That's about 75 kilometers, 80 kilometers from the city of the Novo Mesto. Um, and his entire family was identified. In continuation, I have also identified one more lady and her husband and her family who was also involved in MK Ultra. I have a lot of audio recordings with a lot of people I have identified everybody had identified today a nurse that was involved also since 95 with her brother also identified uh, but this is interesting to me because he's asking about my father how the father is doing now, he knows my father my goodness since 95 if not even earlier um, everybody does the problem is everybody knew that Slovenian government will go after my father. They're going to use my father. And so it's a really interesting conversation developed between him and me. Let's look exactly where he purchased this discounted real estate per, uh, parcel. Or I should say, how far is this located from where I'm at? So this here, this is basically, yep, that's his parcel right there. All right, I have to connect the internet. It's about 2.3 kilometers down from basically where I live. Uh, what is this here? I live about something like this. It doesn't matter. 2.3 kilometers from where I live at. Uh, basically, uh, his parcel is located. Okay, I don't understand this one here. Hmm. 
like it's any difference if the airplane mode is on or airplane uh, mode is off. Um, the place is called Giro Cello. If the internet is going to come back, we're going to do some more of this stuff. If the internet is not going to come back, you're just going to have this stuff here. The rest you're going to get from the authentic audio recording, which is not the only audio recording. However, I do have other audio recordings to prove like this because I use different devices when I do all this stuff. So let's go. This was recorded on May 4. May 4 of 2023 at approximately 7.30 hours, 17.30, excuse me, 17.30 in afternoon in 17.30, I meet his friends. Um, this is basically a house behind the house that you see right there in the middle of the village. And so... Oof, we got the internet back, so guess what? I can actually demonstrate you maybe. Even through the street maps. All right, whenever that's going to come back to life, we'll be fine. But let's do some audio. Okay. Na družinu je imel tukaj. Na prdu je sviška. So we are talking about this house here. I get through the village. Oh, but this is exactly the photo I have taken. Uh, this is identical to the photo. It's just a little bit ahead of right there. There is a barn, there is a house in front of one, and uh, the street maps. That's a barn right there, and... Uh, um, uh, this is a house right there, so if I move on... Here is basically the house you see, and on this beautiful sunny day, all through in the afternoon, a uh, man and his crew, basically the neighbors, were working on this uh, cement machine. And so I came by and uh, okay. It's a difficult thing to do, apparently. And so, if we go back to this issue here, to this house here, it was working on this cement mixer machine that you see right there with the neighbors here. Um, I was really, really confused because of a lot of stuff that went on. Um, he, uh, first of all, uh, they have imitated locations and properties. They tried to confuse. It wasn't about identifying stuff but this stuff went way way beyond uh, they had to earn the discount and you know discounts are given in different forms uh, so I have a trouble at first identifying uh, the owner of this place just by talking to the neighbors from here uh, it just doesn't come to me who this guy would be and I'm gonna play the whole thing like this
Yeah. Hi, hi. Now for the way it's used um, so we, 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 we say hello to each other and he's saying, yeah, I'm just helping him out. I say, it's going to be wonderful. It's going to be a beautiful house. You're going to add one to the older house. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you have seen this. This is a newer one. This is the older one. We do some betonage. I ask, it's a really beautiful house. Is he going to actually live here? Uh, he's saying, yeah, they already live here. So I said, they live here already, really? Uh, I am certain that this gentleman, based on the brainwash from MK Ultra, is actually a brother from some sister here. That one of these two houses you see right there, uh, actually this house here next door, that this would be a sister from him. And I was sure that he sold some land here and then moved to, yeah, if I go to a map here, uh, to the area between Novo Mesta and Ljubljana, which I'm going to demonstrate here. This is what my thesis was. This is what I was certain about who this guy was. Yeah, But the gentleman I talked to, corrects me. He said, no, 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 no. These people are from Ljubljana. I'm completely puzzled. I say to myself, man, uh, I, I doubt it, actually, that he is telling me the truth. Every truth to MK Ultra had 10 different truths and all kinds of gimmicks involved. And from the people involved in it and also from other people, from all kinds of people. It was not very easy to identify. I have found myself choosing between stuff they brainwashed me with on, on a verge of the sanity was the case like in Poland. In Poland they did a very, very shitty, all kinds of stuff. They did all kinds of ghost tours, uh, different scenarios, and they blamed, uh, you know, all sorts of issues. Until the internet comes back, I'm just going to continue with the recording. Oh, in the meanwhile, let's just continue. Uh, just a moment. This is important, actually. We can straighten up this stuff here. Hey, come on. Give me that internet connection right now. Can't be damned that bad. I was sure that he is somewhere that he purchased a ranch somewhere half in between Ljubljana and Novo So this I was certain that what exactly would that be? Like a Grosuple or something like this around Ivanchna Gorica, okay. I was sure that he is somewhere from Ivanchna Gorica. You know, this is what I was pretty damn sure that this is Vivanchna Guri, it's a guy that, that he's from here. Uh, that he moved from a novel master here by selling a land that father was, that he had a sister and this and that, and they split and they sold this stuff and so on and so forth. So this is Ljubljana, and this here, this is a novel master here. Yeah. And, uh, you know, since the internet is working so nice, why don't I show you? This here would be... No, oh, that's exactly right. This would be our house. You can see it right there on the map. Here we go to directions. It's going to give me a chance to pick up 
the one on the map. I'm going to choose the Zhihova Sela. That's exactly right. Uh, 2.3 kilometers distance. I made this guy. Yeah, he already apparently moved into the house, and the guys are saying to me that he's from Ljubljana. Yeah, I have it. no damn idea about where the hell this guy is from Ljubljana. But let's see how this is going to develop. It's very, very important for my father's sake. So he's saying, no, no, no. Uh, no sister, he doesn't have any sister, he's from Ljubljana. Uh, I'm not sure we are talking about the right guy here. Because in my head was that the owner of the Škoda that was standing right there is the owner of this uh, house and so I'm, I'm i'm confused as hell because i'm pretty sure that this is the guy that, that he has a sister from here that they saw the port of the portion of this land that he purchased land over there as i stated somewhere between novo mesto and vanchna gurica uh i was who the hell is he talking about me and uh no 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 he says they are from ljubljana for sure <laughs> Uh, I'm actually asking him if he's not from Ivanchna Gorica. Do you know why I'm asking him if he's not from Ivanchna Gorica? I'm asking him because with this Skoda that is parked over there, I, of course I didn't take a picture of that one, a car. A nice little Skoda is what it is, a sedan. Uh, he drove me around many times, into Ljubljana, into Ivanshna Gorica, and back and forth, and so on and so right. He always had this Škoda, okay? So... It's a newer model of the Škoda. So they're saying to me that he's from Ljubljana, and it threw me on my ass. Man, I am now confused. Who the hell is this guy? They're saying to me that he had a grandfather at Otochets. Now, I am very nearby here, Otochets, right now. Uh, this doesn't tell me shit. I am confused now as hell, man. Uh, Otochets is right here. This is but just about maybe a kilometer from here is Otochets. You know, that's a very popular tourist destination. And they're saying he had a grandfather here. Wow. This man not young. Uh, you're talking about man in his 60s. And uh, he had a grandfather here at Otochets. <laughs> I, at this point in time, I feel like somebody would go and just slap me back and forth. Because I was sure I know... Who this man is. So let's see what happened next. So I am trying to identify now who this guy is because I get angry. You know, something is not, something is just missing here. So I, I want to know exactly everything. So I say he had a family from here, okay. Uh, so, I still claim that the family, they are deriving from here, from the Naromesto. And they say, oh, look, it's owner here, the owner came. So, let me talk to the owner, okay? The owner is here, just talk to him, all right? Um, so, I go like, yeah. okay? She says, hey, hi, hello. And I say, hi, hey, hello. And I'm asking him. Yeah, it kind of sounds stupid. I keep repeating. I'm certain that he had a sister, and I'm certain that he's from this village. I'm certain that he always was from this village. 
Why am I certain he is also? Why am I certain he is from the village? Because he pictured himself right here in this village, right in front of this house, in 1995. Psychiatrists, you're talking about not only psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, but you're talking about the Zoran Mudra from Ljubljana. I don't like him. Uh, you're talking about the psychiatrist Schwab here. You're talking about the several psychiatrists involved that would come along Milan Kuchan. And this goes all the way back in time. So I am pretty damn sure that he's from here, actually. I am sure that they helped him to sell the land. You understand? This is a future buyer. And I am sure that this is the man who actually always was from here, who had a sister, and instead he was assisted with a property sale because they assisted and sellers and buyers if they cooperated on whatever it was required from them to cooperate on. So let's see how this developed. He says, no, 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 he says. I am new here, he says. He says, we, we purchased here, we're not from here. Yeah, so you're a long time ago, right? Yeah, not he says four years that's all there is four years that's all there is to it only four years he's saying he says really i said oh, that's interesting and i said so you're from ljubljana he says and uh, Man, uh, there's like a lot of stuff that doesn't make any sense to me. But okay, let's see what else. I said, I see, I see. She says, I see, I see. Now the man is already happy because I did not identify one. Uh, I think that he wanted me to identify him. But in a way, he's also happy I did not identify him. He made a bet during MK Archer when I'm going to identify I want to know. He says, where is the father? Where is your father? And I said to him, mine? I said, mine? He says, yes. He says, you used to come together with your father, he says, yeah. And I said, yeah, 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 we did. I say, I am very tactical at this point in time. I am confused, but I'm very tactical. I said, oh, he, he, he's here from, from the Kirka village right next door, about, you know, two and a half kilometers from here. He says, yeah, yeah. I said, you, you know my father very well. You know, I, I'm confused because I remember my father and him on an MK Ultra picture very long time in meeting one another. Right at this place, also at Jehovah's cell, he came here inside in our house and so on. He had me in his in Ljubljana and so on. He says, no, no, I don't know your father. You were just passing by with your father. That's all there is to it. So I said, I really? Uh -huh, okay. So you don't know, you do not know each other. And he says, no, not at all, not at all. I said, I see, I see, I said, I see. I tell him, you know, uh, <laughs> you're very interesting, I told him. You became very interesting to me. Because I know it's a whole lot of interesting stuff that he stated, a whole lot of statements right now that he's just messed up my compass about this house here. So I see, I see. Um, he put me in an awkward situation, so now I have to resolve the situation pretty damn fast, you know, because i rather to resolve this at my advantage and to look uh, 
somebody who is just making a wild guesses or something like that. He says, yeah, he says, why? Why am I interesting to you now? He says, and before that I was not interesting to you? He's joking. I, I said to him, yeah, always, you were always interesting, but he's laughing. Now you became even more interesting, I tell him. You were always interesting, but now you became even more interesting. He's laughing. Mm. I remember you, you walk with your father past our house. That's why I remember you. He says, Yeah, 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 right. In this case, Ljubljana. And I said, You're from Ljubljana. I said, Ah. He says, From Ljubljana, yes. He says, From Ljubljana. I can't get him out of my head in respect to the farm next to Ivan Shnagurica or between Ljubljana and Novo Mesto where he would take me with his Škoda. Obviously somebody else. He says, no, 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 not at all. He says, when I was young, I used to go to vacation on a Struga. What is this Struga? Well, Struga, this is located down further from Otocic. Yes, see, this is Otocic and then Struga, that cannot be seen through. Uh, just like this, we need some, some, some satellite image like a map. Yeah, there you go. Uh, and that's basically this golf course that you see right there. This was very, very popular uh, with Americans. They would go and play the golf and stuff like this. Okay, so it doesn't matter. This is just uh, further down, right? Further down south, if you like. <laughs> Another two or three kilometers, I don't know, from where I already was. Okay, so he would come from Ljubljana, he says, to visit what the other guy stated it was his grandfather, which actually was his father. Um, very, very confusing stuff, but I do find a way out. He says actually this was his grandfather. I'm now confused. I thought this was his father because this man was not young at all. I said, yeah, yeah, there was a, such a thing. I thought there was such a thing. Now close to a million people that was involved in this stuff and find for every person, many presented also fakes, fake scenarios, lies into stuff. It's very difficult. But yeah, this gentleman is talking the truth. There was such a thing. Now the gentleman had a different scenarios and when he tells me about that stuff and I recall that this goes way, way, way back. Uh, I feel like I have a headache because all of a sudden I find myself in several different scenarios as was presented in respect to his case. And uh, it's actually a very difficult issue I have to resolve. Uh, on the spot, as I'm talking to a gentleman, I'm not capable to resolve this. So I decide to basically walk away. And I did so, walk for uh, five minutes or something, then I turn around and I go back to him and I get it right, everything. He says, he tells me this is way too far. He says, I don't know how you're going to recall this. And I tell him, no, 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 no. I said, wait, wait, wait. Um, 
I am got I started to calculate, do my homework. Pardon, a ste, uh, vidimo šta je to ostav pelan. A? Čak možemo še malo, še malo. Ovako, še eno rampo možemo ne vedeti. Še tam da enega dva tisac, jo, jaz, osem ga leta si ga še hodi v bistvu. Letnic pa jaz ne poznam. Ne. Uh, I said, up to year 2008, you still would come to visit him. Uh, fact of the matter is between 2000 and uh, I would still go for 2008 that he would still go and visit one and uh, that would be my final yes because he was playing several different scenarios which gesture me that around 2005 or maybe even 2008 his grandfather or father passed away whomever he used to go and visit on this struga he will not tell me this, uh, he made the oath, will not tell me when his grandfather passed away. Chances are even 2011, but I would go between 2005 and 2008. This is a grandfather, he is, he is actually a grandfather. Uh, this is difficult. He doesn't want to talk about when he passed away. He wants some results from me, basically. We don't, un he just go and works, uh, start to work together with his guys. Now you're going to hear me walking away and melting the information in my head. He will not tell me when he passed away. Uh, this is good issue. This was his idea that he would not tell me when he passed away. He, I ask him different, I'm confused at this point in time. I remember, I picture him when he still would come to visit his grandfather, but um, it's confusing stuff. Uh, good that he did not resolve my issue, I walk away. I tell him, but you are an engineer, aren't you? You have like degree. Now the guy is dressed like uh, somebody with a grammar school or something like that. Broken shirt all like this. And I tell him that he is, that he's got a higher degree, that he's got university. And he tell me that he is an economist. Not an engineer, but economist. Economist. Which I pointed out that he's got a higher education. Uh, I asked him if his uh, wife passed away because he mentioned uh, somebody passed away. He says, no, 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 my wife did not pass away, my wife is alive, he's laughing. Uh, wife is not a blondie, I, I had that wrong too. She 
she never came here to to Novo Mesto, he told me. The wife never came to Novo Mesto. He was a director of uh, like a farming association on Struga. Now he helped me out because he told me where the grandfather was employed. Now, first I have some information. He gave me two information. One was that his grandpa was from Struga, that he would go to visit him. The second information where the grandfather was employed. Okay, so that was good. Where the golf, I demonstrated you, that's where the grandfather was. I still insist on 2005 and 2008 saying to him, but that's what he used to visit still, 2005, 2008. Yeah. He says I was small and I would go for two months on vacation when I was small to him. Oh, Madonna. Sorry, go I keep asking him when did he die, uh, and he tells me sorry, but I have to work. Now the nurse comes. This is a nurse from the Novomaster General Hospital, if I recall this properly. I did not even talk to her yet in real time. Uh, well, let's see this. And this this is a rehearsal of MK Ultra. Uh, this nurse, she would have a frequent visitor, Vesna Schwab, a psychiatrist who was involved in this since 1995. And uh, both have, this is a neighbor basically, uh, both have orchestrated some scenario like uh with a psychiatry involving and stuff like this so oh, quite stupid stuff but uh this is also i think she's a wife of the police officer and this is these people from here from this place here this is there is a lady right there she comes so oh, there you go i think she's a nurse i think so yeah in this home here. She told me, when I come, just go away. That was the order during MKL show. But I don't give a shit about anybody. I am determined I'm going to resolve this issue. He says, I have to work. Sorry, I have to work. He says, you're welcome to stop by, but I have to work now. And so I thank him, thank you, and I go my way. And so look at that. I'm walking and walking and walking. You have to walk with me now. And that's going to cost you four minutes. And I'm thinking who this guy is, actually. This is a recording 1396, 
lot to you for Diana. Še autistik metijski zadrgi, ki mu še jaz sem tako naprej umešal in tako naprej. Ti je bil še. Veliki še je bil on. Tako da on je umrl 99. leta. Sani je bil močan, še vedno se sreti. Dva tisoče, ena, zelo močan, tak naj se nje bil. I'm talking to myself, and uh, I said in 2001, he was still employed. He was a smaller guy and very strong still. In 2001, this guy in 2001 was still very strong. So now I decide I'm going to turn around and identify this man. So I already have identified his grandfather. Can you imagine this? First, I identify his grandfather. I see him back in 2001. I see him not only at Struga, but I also see him on other locations in the city of the Novomesto. That's why I turn around and I go back, because I have a whole image about his grandfather. Now that nurse and all this cannot intimidate me because I'm 100% I have identified one. Not only him, but also man and his family and everything. Hey, check this out. The nurse comes out and he tells me, are you already back? Are you already back? The lady comes out and she goes, are you already back? Are you already back? A good friend with a psychiatrist, Vesna Schwab, she's trying to intimidate. Um, the thing is... <laughs> So I, I have to interrupt you one more time, please. Uh, he says, Bustian, Bustian, he says, you didn't tell me. I said, yes, yes, what? Uh, how is the father? Is he healthy? What's going on with the father? He says, why doesn't he come around anymore, your father? I said, I said, father, I said, yes, he says, he's asking why your father doesn't come around anymore. I said, why the father doesn't come around anymore, aha. Uh -huh. uh, I am going to tell you, just, I just want to ask you a question, please. He says, go ahead, ask me. I said, your father was a little smaller. He says, my father was not tall. But I said, your father was 175 centimeters tall. He says, yes, that is correct. 175, that is correct. And I said, 
and I said, you know what? I said, and I said, you also have a daughter and a son. And he says, yes, that is correct. So now I pointed out stuff that you would not know unless you know the person. Yeah, I pointed out he's got a son, he's got a daughter, exactly the height of his father. <laughs> I says, now you see that we do know each other. I said, now let me ask you another question, I say. He says, yes. I say, uh, <laughs> ah, let's do this stuff again. And once I get these answers from him, I said, now I'm going to ask you a question. So, yes, I was a little bit naughty. You know, I was a little bit naughty. I said, now, please, let me ask you just one more question. He says, yes, yes, ask me. And I said, now, Tell me, how is my father? Well, this is exactly the question he was asking me a little earlier. Isn't that awkward? He says, he says, how can I tell you how your father is doing? And I said, yeah, yeah. I said, you, you tell me, how is my father? He says, I, I have no idea, how can I tell you how your father is? I said, you know, you probably know better than what I do in respect to my father, how my father is doing. He says, why? I tell him, you were a great friend with the psychiatrist from Ljubljana Poli in 95, with the Milan Kuchan, directly. I said, this is how you got the parcel here, I remember you very, very well. And I said, that's why I asked how my father is doing. And then we go part, then we part our ways. There is not a side of the lady that you see right there. Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing. So, I continue in this direction here. I go like this. And then I go like this. And I stop. And I go like that. And I pop this thing inside. Right there, it's called Untitled Zero. This was the audio recording that you see right here. Uh, uh, what I do, the next thing I do is I say the audio recording I have identified his family nicely, but there is more to identify because I record more about this man. We'll talk next time. Very, very witty guy, this guy. Very, very, very witty guy. You know, this guy is extremely, extremely witty. You have no idea how witty this guy is. Yeah, extremely, extremely witty guy. Next time when I talk to him again, you're just going to learn how witty this guy is. Very, very witty guy. So we have this here. This is going to be part one of the recording. Then what I am going to do is, I'm going to go, I'm gonna close this one down, I'm going to open this, and we're going to open this recording here. 
and we're gonna go the same day I have also uh, identified another lady here you're gonna see oh it's not gonna do that to me that's a recording 1397 so the, the second recording is a uh, gonna do is I'm gonna take note of this one 1397 however it's gonna be this one here we gonna take a screenshot of this one here paste this and I am going to paste you these two recordings right next to because I say that data, this is on the same day. All this stuff is being recorded on a May 4, 2023. And as I continue my way toward Marietta, there is a nice little lady and her family who was involved. Family is not present but as usual that doesn't bother me who was also involved in the ultra and this is another person i identify i like the fact that man is from ljubljana and that i have managed to identify you know not only he is that he's got a daughter and son but what i like the fact is that i have identified his father. I like the fact that that I was capable to, to tell exactly, oh, I didn't ask him about the supervisory position that he held here in the city of the Novel Mesa. He was a boss, this guy. This guy was a quite a big boss. He was a boss of this farmer's market, farming, this stores, Kmetis Kazatruga. This was a boss. Yeah. He's a very good relations uh, with a Kirka executives actually very strong uh, very respected person yeah okay so this is the next recording and the next recording uh, from this place is, is I did some walking that day uh, takes me to another location, it's called Shmarieta or uh, something like this. That's quite far. How far the hell is this? Okay, so... From my home, that's far enough. That's... I never <clears throat> really went walking through here. Yeah, that would be like more likely like this. Uh, so we're talking about like 12 kilometers, you know, something like that from my home. So the chances that I would know people here really are not. Um, so where exactly am I? Something like some, some here, uh, exactly here. Uh, yeah, this is actually, this is the location, right? Sir? Ah, there you go. Oh, almost, almost, almost. We meet by exactly here, just as this is the lady. Excuse me. So, oh, exactly here. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. So actually, where she promised me we would meet. And I know so, because it was a man who promised me he's going to turn his car around, which he did. A black car. And I think that was a police officer. So actually, she told me from here that I would be capable to even see the home. But I was standing on this track here that you see, which is actually rather possible. Um, yeah. Okay, now let's see what we have here. <clears throat> oh, so this is the recording. I'm going to do this. Oh, 
going to amplify this. So this was all May 4th, 2023. These are two people, but they're interesting to me because one is from Ljubljana, and he had so many different scenarios. He even had a scenarios for the houses, you know. This man played with... Uh, let me see something here. Uh, now, we are still here. Do you see this stuff here? This He loved to play with this. I don't know how you say that in the English language, but this here. He played with this stuff a little bit too much. You know, he had a passion to play with that stuff. And uh, I think he assisted other people as well. Um, and uh, yeah, let me see this groundbreaking job that he did. Um, is the next time I have it. I'm going to get a chance. What does it give me? All right, it's going to be. Let's go. Let's continue with this. Uh, 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 uh. So this was taken in 2022, yeah, yeah, here uh, he added like a much bigger, uh, no actually it's uh, sort of it's here, it's actually I think it is here, this stuff here that you see, yeah. Yeah. So, where his uh, wife is from, and I had a feeling that was toward Bela Kraina, Croatia, I would say. Maybe even Bosnia, something like this. He loved to play with this stuff, which I found the other day. I was looking for, uh, not that I was looking for, but as I was walking, I didn't even check this stuff, now I see it. He already assisted, the, or maybe have learned from other people to play with this stuff. He was challenging me on an, uh, another location, which were actually the neighbors from his wife, for whom I suppose, actually because of what I stated, are probably from Bosnia, have done in the backyard of some house, which was a rather hilly area was not like this it was like area like like uh this is all the stuff i'm going to talk to him next time yeah uh in that case it looked different he drove me all over the place i mean all over the balkans this guy he wasn't only ljubljana and this and that where he has properties also but he was also on balkans in bosnia and so on yeah so I know that he loves to play with that kind of stuff, and it's that kind of stuff I think that he learned from Bosnian guys, because they're good builders. They know how to play with the construction work and so on. So, you know, I'm going to talk to him next time. We're going to play a little bit mouse and cat more when I see him. Yeah. Okay. Um, and so... Uh, the next thing that happened was this thing here, and this shit happened here as I demonstrated you uh, further in Shmarieta. Uh, there's a lady, she's leaving with a dog, you can still see her. Uh, let's see it. The lady I have just spoken about a half an hour ago has a house right there. Yep. Uh, this would be up there, tick, 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 tick. And then there is one house 
and after that house here is the original uh, when the lady is leaving just as she promised just as I demonstrated you earlier uh, you go back here this and from what I am here you cannot see her house but what I demonstrated you you bet you can see her house let's go to that recording Hi, how are you today? Hi, how are you? Hi, hi. We meet each other here on this track that you see. This is just a random lady. I see both. We are using this track here, rather for a bicycle. So there we go. She is walking her dog, I am walking myself. Uh, we are both just uh, enjoying the nature. She comes from the opposite direction and we meet and I say hi, hello, and I want to play with her dog a little bit because I love dogs. So, and so here is the conversation. <laughs> oh. I said, where are you? Hurry. I said, who are you? I'm talking to the dog. What's your name? And she says, Bobby. Oh, really? Bobby, man. Bobby, this is not a common name in Slovenia, but my name during MK Ultra was Bob. That was actually my name in the US, was Bob. So... She named the dog after me, she did, she really did, Bobby, Bob, there you go. So that should sound familiar, right? I said, really, really? So I asked, why, why the Bobby? I said, why is his name Bobby? She says, because the children want it this way, and she's laughing, he, 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 he. Bobby. Yeah. Uh, Bobby, Bobby. Yeah. And the dog is quite happy. Uh, I said, you're Bobby. Oh, I see Bobby. Oh, Bobby. Sir Bobby. Uh, Bobby. Yeah. Oh, who gave us sir? Very nice man. And Bobby is already 13 years old. So I want to give him a little bit to drink, but he doesn't want. She says, we're not too far. Uh, Okay. Ti sto desco se andò tam zarde a kam bošu u Ljubljanu. Ne bošu. Ne? Ne. Ne. Ker bom policijo poklicala. Kaj bom? Ne bošu. Ok. Zaka je pa bila desko, da tu da boš to odnoter. Tako. Ne, ne boš. In kluč od avta mi dej. Ti sto bom jaz vrati. Kluč od avta mi dej takoj. Ti sto, ti sto desko se mnoh zradel. Mama, ti se mu za dva, tri dni da stvari v pravom Ljubljani. Nema? Ja? Ne? Ne. Ok. Brzka. Ok. Še kaj drugega? Ne. Kaj hočeš fotra za točku, kaj hitro se da? Ma 
Zdaj pa je še tudi tiho, če se ne tudi garantujo. Zakaj? Se mi ne dovoliš v Ljubljane pride. Zakaj pa ne? Zakaj pa ne? Zakaj pa ne? Zakaj pa ne? Ja hočeš zatoč? Teč. Teč, hitro, teč. We had a heated conversation with my mother. Really heated conversation right now with the mother. At the end of this video, I'm going to demonstrate you what kind of conversation was it. I said, I know that you're local, I remember you, I recall you. I said, who, who are you? And she says, I said, why don't you recall this? Uh, it comes to my mind that she was the only person who still liked me in the area. This was a really war zone, this area. She and her colleague uh, remained loyal to me, remained as a friend of mine. Uh, my name is Bustiana Ausitz, I tell her. So I tell the lady, you know, I had more kilos before, uh, and listen, that that's why probably you have a difficulty to recall me, but I'm sure that you will recall me. How not? Her name is Dog Bobby. And that you, you can recall me, you're saying, huh? And she says, no, no way, no way. Says the young people change themselves. I tell her, thank you, but I'm not young, I'm over half a century old. So I tell her, you know, I remember you always walked with a friend. There was a female friend you had. You always walked through here. I said, you know what? I'm pretty sure that was your neighbor, actually, a female neighbor. She says, maybe, maybe. I tell her, you know something? I told her, you definitely have one daughter, 100% you have one daughter. She does, she says, yes, I do have one. She says, uh, and she says, do we know each other? And I said, uh, and I said, you work in the city, but I cannot, I'm trying to recall. I'm not sure where exactly I would put you, but you work in the city. Uh, I used to work in the Labot company. Uh, that is in the city uh, next to the Kirka Pharmaceutical, actually. I says, and, and you are Austin? She says, and what's the name of your mother? And I say, Anchka, Anna. She says, did she work also in Labot? No, but I told her the neighbor, Slavka Jerman, did. So I tell her, Slavka, she knows her. 
Let them show the people. This is going to let the whistle blow the console of water. So this is pretty good. Yes, yes, I'm quite satisfactory. Yeah. She always walks with a neighbor, female friend. She's quite shocked when I say that. She can't hide. She should say, yes, I did. She didn't. She says, maybe, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I tell her, you have a 100% daughter. Uh, she does have a daughter. Um, she, you work in the city. Yes, I work in the city. Ote kak se je lebot propal, ja, se mu zdaj probam nekaj drugega skalkulirati, ne. She says, I work till the lebot went broke in that company. Viste, vam je še takrat, še vam je manjkalo ne tri leta nekaj takrat. I says, I said to her, but you know what, you didn't retire when the company went broke. You were still missing to get the social security you are missing about three years from Social Security, maybe even more than three years. I reported it is true, she said, it's true. Uh, I reported myself to the uh, agency for employment, state agency for employment, which gave me a social support. It is true, she says, it is true. So, you know, it is true, everything is true. So, the company went broke and there was still a few years missing to her retirement. Instead, she reported herself to employment uh, state employment office, which gave her social support. She says it was not five years, as I stated, but it was two years she was missing to retirement. Uh, and and. Uh, when she says to me, it was like five more years. Uh, and asked me, I said, why, why did you say it was a war here? You know, she's completely trying to destruct, destruct, uh, change the conversation, change the issues in, a, in, a, in other direction from the topic. You know, I said, I also remember your husband, I told her, and your husband is way more light-skinned than you are. He is like, uh, he's like more blonde guy, you know? Uh, she says, she says to me, he is gray haired. Uh, and I say to her, uh, you know, she's trying to just make sure that I really, really, really can recall the person. And I said, wait, 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 wait a moment. I said, he was like blonde guy. She says, not completely blonde. Oh, yeah, he was quite... Uh, more blonde, just as I'm going to state, he was more blonde than brown. Brown haired, and she says, He also was coming from the city, from work, and I screwed up the things. I said, the fire rescue, that he worked at, at the fire rescue, uh at the fire rescue and the fire rescue is located right next to this company labot you know where why fire rescue because he would have me with him and we would go to pick up uh, a wife because she worked at labot and right next to labot company is a fire rescue 
uh, if I demonstrate. Yeah. So he was not working at the fire rescue. He was working in Renault, but she was working at the Labot. She is now sure that I did identify her family, her, her family very well. And she's asking me, are you from here then? So you know me so well? I said, sure that I am, yeah. I tell her, you know, also I'm going to tell you that your husband is older than you. That your husband is older than you. And, uh, you know, um, I tell her he went into retirement earlier than you. And she says to me, no, he continued to work. But this is not my fault here. It's not my fault. I uh, just listened to this conversation. I tell her also I remember your house on the inside, the way it looks, the garage. I says, you said that you don't recall me, but I recall everything. He says, uh, how did you were in our house? What happened? She says, if I was a painter, if I did, if I'm a handyman or something like this, if I did. And, you know, I joke and I start talking about the aliens, about the extraterrestrials and stuff like this. I, I said, no, I was not your handyman. I said, but you have to tell me what I was doing at your place. And she says, I don't know, I don't know. I tell her, I'm not an alien, I tell her. Yeah. And she's laughing. Yeah. You're from Kirka, from the Kirka village, really? I said, yes, really. I was pretty sure that her daughter actually got married because this is a really, really beautiful woman. And somehow that she couldn't get married, surprised, because I remember she had a boyfriend. She didn't want to date me, imagine this. She had a boyfriend, actually. At one, at one point in time, she's a big shot. She didn't get married, actually. She doesn't want to talk about the love life of her daughter. 2008, that her, you know. She dated, dated big time, this guy, and nothing came out. She's still single, that's right. She was a very beautiful girl, yep. But, there, but I was, she didn't like me because I had too many kilos back then. 
Ja, ja, han är bra. Han är bara så man ska läsa två tisar två som blir han inte så mycket för honom. Ja. And that would make her like 33 years old. She was not in 18 years old in 2008. She tells me she's 40 now. So that makes her at that time about uh, 25 years old in 2008. I got that wrong. Yeah, I think it's a good no, Blue I'm not the yeah. No, I to i to to I'm i to she asked me about another guy whose name was Kastelitz. And I said, who is the Kastelitz? I have no idea. I don't know the people by their last names. She said, start talking to me about other people that were also involved in MK Ultra. She says, Yoshko, Yoshko was a uh, long time ago. Ah, uh, talk to him all. Talk to him, and that's that. Because it's for me. Um, the laws are a little pretty awesome, fun to be. Talk to him, you. was a really, really kind, uh, nice, uh, I said, like, light-skinned guy, very light-skinned, you know? He says he didn't have a sister. Uh, I asked you if he had a sister and he did not have a sister. Uh, he used to here live with a the father, then he went to mother. The father, he used to live with the father, and then he went to mother, but did not have a sister. She says, there was a long, long, long time ago, I would not longer, longer even recognize one if I would meet him. Uh, uh, I said he did not have a sister, she said, and he did not even have a brothers. So I'm pretty sure that he had brothers at least if he didn't have sisters. And she says, yes, he had a two half brothers. That's basically from the father's side. I said, but what happened to them? What happened to these people? Because Yoshko, I told him, what happened to these people? Are they okay? And I'm asking this, she says, why? Because I remember it was a psychiatry that got involved in the case. The psychiatrist started to intimidate Yoshko. That was a very, very exclusive. They started to intimidate him because he was nice to me. So the lady was asking me if I still can remember that back in time. It's a long time ago. I said social security. They got involved in this stuff. Started to make problem to the family. And she says, yes, they did. She says, yes, they did. So you see if I have identified, described him and know that he has a at least brothers or sisters here. Uh, and the last thing I describe is actually his mother. Yeah. Mom and dad got divorced, mom moved away. 
They took a divorce, father got also married and he had two more children and mother also had children or whatever, she moved away. They said that he was a problematic in school and this and that. No, he was not problematic. He was very good, but they were giving him a problem because he was interested in helping me out. This was a young kid who was very, very motivated during Anki Ultra to help me out. And the social services immediately went after him. Uh, they were trying to handle him uh, with the social services and he got angry and he left, he went to the mother, to live with the mother and that was it. He had a blue eyes. I describe the area where he lives, more or less. She kind of gives me okay, but she says that she doesn't know where she, where he lives. Castelitsiosko. The thing about it is that he would still come back here, even after he left. He still would come to meet me whenever they would bring me for MK Ultra here. Yeah. I said, but the mother from here, that was a very, very beautiful woman, and that was a blondie. I tell her, but you know what? His mother was a real blondine. She says, yeah, that one really was a blondine. So did I describe the family, even the circumstances of the family, of some completely other family? You know, some completely other family that I actually picture in my head. Did I do the good job or not? Okay, that's all there is. This is, was recorded on May 4, 2023. I could have asked her also about the house, where the house is located, as she asked me to ask her, but I failed. But I do identify one as I go on my way back from Shmarieta. I stop, I pull the camera out, and I do that stuff too. <laughs> So now I said, uh, we're going to still see each other? He said, maybe we will. I said, now tell me, where do we know each other? She says, I don't know, I don't know. Do you, uh, she says, I don't know, I don't, I don't recall where I know you from. So I asked her, I said, do you, uh, are you involved in some kind of uh, extra terrestrial alien stuff and stuff like that? So she's laughing and she's going her way and I'm going my way. <laughs> Uh, I just tell her to 
send my best regards to family. She says, I will. Thank you to husband and so on. And she says, uh, good luck to you. And she has her way ahead, my way. Okay, so this basically I filmed on my way back. The lady I have just spoken about a half an hour ago has a house right there. Uh, this would be up there, tick, 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 and then there is one house, and after that house, or I should say right next to that house, behind that house, is her house. And her house is, hold on a moment, her house is on the left side. The whole village from behind started the war in the family when they communicated with me. Um, that's why I stated that. So this was recorded at 2016 because I went all the way to the graveyard in Shmarieta. And you see her living right there at 17, what is it, 1738 hours. Yeah. So you see. Uh, that's basically the way it goes. So oh, let's let's see this stuff. As I'm heading back, what I did right now, I want to be more detailed about it. She told me during MK Ultra, she told me uh, they make like conversation about uh, if you can go and you can, if he can go and he can take a photo of. Uh, of the house and stuff like this and she says you can do it right from where we are because this is exactly where she met me uh, but you're not going to be capable uh, to take it from the road and now let's see if the house is visible from the road Yeah, nothing is visible from the road. Nothing. Nothing. Exactly what she stated uh, the case would be. Okay, so... Um, it's like it doesn't even say what, uh, what the name of the, the road that will be where... Okay, so... Behind their house, you go down and then there is a, the whole village, yeah? There is. Police investigators also told me during MK Ultra that when I will be meeting people, I should bring over some kind of uh, something like chair that you can open and you can sit on it. And then it was the people that would say, ah, oh, no, if he's going to do that, I am not going to be. Uh, uh, talking to one, this and that. I don't do that kind of stuff. Uh, and that's because of the damage, because of the injury they inflicted on my left foot. So they were using these gadgets to see basically cancer basically they, they totally rated everything injury about just how bad it is what's going on with it for absolutely every detail i would do the one who accompanied me on these routes frequently were police officers of course they realized that just standing and talking to the person enormously increases as long as i'm moving they told me it's okay you're going to bring, have to bring yourself a chair where you're going to sit. And then had people engaging with me who claim that they're not going to be talking to me in that case if I'm going to be sitting in front of them and so on. Yeah. Uh, that's basically how this MK Ultra went. What the police did was uh, just a very, very bad stuff. I'm going to stop this stuff here. Um, before I'm going to move on with this stuff here. We're gonna do it like this. This is uh, 20417. <laughs>
And I'm going to go here. I'm not sure. Oh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach this stuff right here like this. Just right here. And zoom myself like this. I'm gonna paste this stuff here. Now I am gonna tell you like this, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, during the recording of this uh, video, there was several angry outbursts from my mother. Uh, one outburst from my mother was in respect to USB plug that was plugged right there inside of the outlet. It's not a difficult thing to plug that thing out. And the second one is uh, that my mother went completely, completely insane. You know, that's interesting to note because my mother does not want me to contact police in respect to father. She is doing absolutely everything to get father murdered. I'm going to put it plain and simple like this. According to MKUltra instructions, I would travel to Ljubljana with exactly this car, which police already have used to closely evaluate on how one can be used also. In the following recordings, video recordings, I'm going to even present you with the proofs. This car was, even rear seats, back seats were taken apart. And they did not know how to take them apart. They left damages today, I realized. It's all audio recorded, video recorded. And so as I prepared myself for a longer stay in Ljubljana for an entire week, my mother simply came in my face, as this is evident from this recording right here, and exploded with anger, with frustration. With this, her explosions of anger, frustration, because of the proofs, like this one here, this is what hurts her emotionally the most. She does not allow for me to talk to anybody, interact with anybody. She gets, gets like a tiger and is desperate, actually, to get my father murdered. Every day she delivers him a load of food and stuff in his mouth. Desperate to convince me that I am the one who got him into the hospital, that I'm the one who destroyed him no matter what. Desperate to convince me that is the best way, in my best interest of mine alone to get rid of the father. Also exploded right now in this morning in me when she realized what you're about to see that I prepared myself for the trip to Ljubljana last night. She went completely ballistic I'm glad I did not go to Ljubljana because she started to threaten me. She's going to call the police and use the police on me. So the car is from the father. I do have a driver's license. The car is there to be used, of course. But as you see in this house, just as with everything is the case, my mother is the one in charge. And so I want this stuff to be actually recorded, video recorded, everything documented properly. It's more than just a proof about identifying people I'm going to submit you. I'm going to demonstrate you what exactly I was doing, preparing my inspect to prepare myself for departure. Uh, yesterday I cleaned the car, I prepared the car, uh, and... Uh, it just happened so that I'm not going to be allowed to use the car. So now you see that there is somebody else inside of this household uh, 
who desperately would want to make me feel guilty uh, it's somebody who really got father inside of the hospital and inside of the home for elderly and it's somebody I'm gonna have to call the police upon that's my mother actually here I'm gonna demonstrate you a videos from yesterday uh, what a yelling what a screaming that I'm gonna destroy the car that I'm destroying the car that I don't know what I'm doing uh, that I have my car over there and so on and she refers to herself as a helper as somebody who helps as somebody you know what he is she is she is like inspector she is just going from one place to another and is just engaging in a complete because she's a control freak to the point that she murdered father you understand that's how much of the control freak my mother is she is the one who murdered father she is the one who destroyed him you just witness basically the explosion of anger the the how she exploded the, the anger the way that she or that is amazing she is just bursting from the violence and you know it's not the first time bursting from the violence literally so the, the the old lady as she claims that she is she is behaving like uh, you know I'm actually really glad that I audio recorded her at least you know I do have a nice little audio recording I am gonna save at this point in time we're gonna save this stuff too we're gonna put this stuff on tape it's this one here is still recording you know the whole thing like this so it's right here 14 19 14 19 oh it's here there you go oh as soon as i transfer a data from that phone which is taking him some time there's a lot of information to be transferred i'm going to go and transfer information from this phone onto it to make sure that you did hurt yelling screaming that my mother just did prior to her departure that is crazy man my mother is not so peaceful my mother is extremely extremely not only psychologically abusive but also physically violent you should see her right now what the hell that looked like she grabbed the keys and so on. You got to see that stuff. She's desperate. She just wants to get rid of the father as fast as possible. So it's not a good stuff. Maybe police get to see this and gives me assistance and I don't even have to travel to Ljubljana to get assistance from the police that would be nice because this is not good asking yourself where you're gonna go to report the crime where you have a father literally on a dead bed with mother going and stashing in his mouth every day the sweets and stuff like this he's fed with the tube and you come and you stash him rotten food food that is cream 30 percent cream uh creme schnitte stuff like this and he's on a dead bed i mean no, that's that's really not normal that's not a normal stuff do you do that stuff to somebody who had a stroke i don't think so i don't think so So this is what I call uh, a police brutality. Police is actually running this operation 
disengaging me a little through the tools that you see doing exactly whatever they possibly can to make things rather totally impossible for me. So I can afford to stay in the hotel. I can afford to go camping. My mother appears preferably would see me killed or something like this. She wants to get me killed as fast as possible too. What a mama. And the, uh, regarded herself during MK Ultra as a finite share of this case, as the one deserved for this case, the supporter, uh, I don't know what. She is amazing, totally amazing. So let me see. What exactly do we have here, if we have something like that already? Yesterday, I cleaned the car, I prepared myself uh, uh, everything for the trip, even that I could sleep inside of the car, uh, painted the whole thing to make sure there wouldn't be no mold on it, uh, cut the edges of this thing, dress one into vinyl bag and so on, so there would be absolutely no damage to the car or anything like this. And man, uh, it's like a fucking dragon that throw herself upon you. Like the car is to sit right in inside of the garage, you are not allowed to use why. During MK Ultra, interesting enough, she insisted that this is going to be my car. You know? That's how she insisted. This is going to be your car. Your father will die, your father will be killed, and this will be your car. I have never ever used the car for my personal use. I only use the car if I go to visit my father in case I don't go walking, because most of the time I commute myself on my own feet. That's for one thing I'm going to say to you. And the second thing I have to say to you, this is actually emergency that concerns the owner of the car. And the owner of the car is my father. But my mother is appears as the owner. So the car from the father is not so much mine. Oh, I am glad I have audio recorded this stuff. I'm going to put the audio recording, her audio recording, straight on the internet too. And this is like a beast, man. You work all night long, I worked, and you then the morning you have a beast like this coming at you, throw herself on you and just bite you with absolutely everything she can deliver to you. You know, folks, this shit goes on for 50 years. She was extremely abusive, physically, psychologically abusive, and is doing absolutely everything possible to bring one over the edge. Yesterday I was the father, I delivered him some hope that I'm going to go eventually uh, to Ljubljana to get this case resolved so I can bring one home, so I can get the state assistance. And uh, boy, my mother became rather desperate in this whole thing.
I had no idea that I have so much information. I don't know why is it taking him so long. Uh, but must be in a lot of files from the card that is being transferred. So have to be patient. I'm also going to see the size of this transfer to see just how much was it transferred from the phone uh, onto the laptop. So actually, I was video recording father also yesterday. I was again visiting him. Take anyway, that was like five gigabytes that went through. That's a whole a lot. What I can tell you is about all this stuff. What can I say to you? Let me see something here. Okay. Even the psychiatrist Peter K. Police prepared the car just as they promised they would right in front of the home for elderly people yesterday when I visited father for me to see this. Uh, heading from uh, home for elderly people from father's visit to Ljubljana. <laughs> uh, they cried about if I understand how small this car Volkswagen Polo is, you're not going to make it. It's uh, heading from uh, home for elderly people from father's visit to Ljubljana. <laughs> uh, they cried about if I understand how small this car Volkswagen Polo is, you're not going to make it. It's too damn small. Forget it. The one you bought, yeah, you can do it, but not in your car and this and that. <clears throat> So I know that there is a decent amount of work waiting for me right now. So I excuse myself to father as I really have to go. But yeah, this is a small car, this Volkswagen Polo. But uh, Beauty is in a high of beholder, but in this case, whatever it is, it's got to be done. It's not beauty, but it's a small car, but somehow, somewhere, it's going to have to be done. It's going to be probably a long night waiting for me, but at least the car is clean. It's ready for uh, a little bit. It's already, it's already being prepared stuff so it's not I don't know how beautiful but I think it's gonna do the job with a little in ingenuity we gotta get this through so that was a psychiatrist Peter Kops who was very very sarcastic about all that stuff bam bam you know still better than a tent or anything like this See, outside is raining and here inside is raining not. That's a good thing. This was yesterday, then I did the right home. Uh, because uh, a police, a psychiatrist, cops, even Germans play with one. 
taking the rear seats off this Volkswagen Polo. You can notice there is a mark right there, clearly damaged. I've not even touched anything yet. Uh, it was because it was they didn't know how to take this thing out properly, and uh, so you can you can notice a visible visible damage. It's the first time I'm doing this stuff. I've never done it before. I've never even attempted to take this seat apart or anything like this. For the whole thing, I have also audio to prove. Um, yeah, even this stuff, I have audio recorded, all that stuff. All right, so this is a very, very poor camera here. Uh, I am rather going to... Ah, no, there you go. Yes, you see, I'm using a second phone right now. Clearly, you can see damage. You can see you can see damage clearly visible damages these are the damages basically from they were pulling this stuff apart like insane during mk ultra uh, i realized that my father's belongings personal belongings the stuff that my father had oftentimes were misused even damaged destroyed deliberately by the police they would deliver them to people who play anywhere with electronics and all the way to mechanics modified to feed the needs of the police literally to make things impossible for me when father would go missing into hospital and into the home for elderly people i have recorded many issues involving also a car battery and so on charger and stuff like this they make things just disappear deliberately, make a conundrum out of a lot of problems out of very, very simple solutions, uh, issues. Um, they did not know that you don't do this stuff. I didn't even touch that stuff in a little bit. You're going to see the solution. external factors because they were trying to pull this thing out. Thousand and being used and it's being used by the police. It's being used by the government, literally. Uh, I have no fucking idea. Here I found even what appears to have a broken piece. This is on the other side I encountered. That's what actually really got my attention, man. Because before I start touching anything, that's very, very important to note. The damage in the car. Uh, I don't know how it is. The fuck when you go buy very expensive car. This is a very expensive car, you know. This is a diesel Volkswagen. I have no idea how much it costs. 25,000 euros, maybe more. I have no idea. And uh, you give your entire pension just so somebody else takes one apart. This is totally fucked up. So, yeah, that's basically what I'm doing right now. I'm preparing myself for tomorrow. Uh, so, I. A little later, uh, job is finished, job is complete, the car is ready for the mission. It's a little car I had. A little later, uh, job is finished, job is complete, the car is ready for the mission. It's a little car. I had no idea that uh, you can do stuff like this in like a little car like that. I mean, there is enough place right there for... I could even have a girlfriend with me. This is not bad at all. I mean, this is such a small car and actually so spacey. Good solutions for this Volkswagen Polo. Um, this is about 190 centimeters long, if not more than that. And so this is pretty damn cool. Uh, I'm 182, I am 6 tall, and this is, I don't know, maybe 6.5, maybe, I have no idea. So this is pretty damn decent. Everything you really need in car, it's actually right here, if I knew this, I probably would have gone for a smaller vehicle.
I basically bought that Citroën to look uh, as invisible as much as possible. So that he got the <clears throat> that out. Oh, this is um, ironically all I brought a truck with one of the For the procedure I did right now, that's basically wrap one in a paper, um, which is a rather uh, folium paper like this one. For the procedure I did right now, that's basically wrap one in a paper, um, which is a rather uh, folium paper like this one. You see this surface, the top paper, this one here, this, this thing here this all right so i'm gonna put this down <laughs> this not this bag but this i was told by <laughs> maybe it was a real bayrak bayrak kitty abba i don't know the princess yeah it was something like this uh folks because of this problems that i have right now so I hope this is not going to stop recording or anything like this. Um, yeah, like this is really, really disappointing. This is so, it is so much character that my mother had this morning. Yeah, it's, 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 she hates to see me. Yeah, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to play also this sound. Before I'm going to terminate this uh, audio here, I'm not going to be playing with her. I'm going to have this transferred here too, and I'm going to pause the whole thing. No, I really have to disagree with this, uh, with a method like this. I don't, I don't approve of that anymore. Yeah, so I am going to transfer this here. This uh, preparation of the car is all audio recorded, and by the way, it's done with a, such a precision, it's done so neat, so nice, that it couldn't be done better. It's actually done really professional. Uh, just to be basically gagged, like in a, in, a, in a way, what is the crime to go to the human rights ombudsman? I mean, with a car, what the hell is the car for? You want to go to pay for the hotel, 50 euros a night, or you want to sleep in the car? If you don't have the money, probably, you would want to stay in the car. Every police officer would. They're not so much different than I am. Now, this is just incredible. She has this extremely possessive attitude, extremely, extremely possessive, extremely controlling attitude, but also violent. This is the order.
And so I do want to go and open this up also with a, with a wave path. Why does she have such a problem that I would go to a human rights ombudsman? Why does she have such a problem I would go, since she's so willing to help, to department against corruption and so on? She yells and screams at me that I have to go to work and was the one behind the plot of 2013 to have filed criminal charges against me based on domestic violence, due to which I was entered into a crime record. They built a crime record against me for domestic violence, threw me inside of the psychiatric hospital, uh, caused me physical injuries, health-wise, incapacitate me uh, and uh, yelling at me that I'm lazy, no good, shit, dunk, everything you possibly can imagine. Uh, it's difficult to find a job when they build a crime record on you. It's difficult to find a job when they claim that you are mentally insane. Why is she so worried about? I mean, if you ever want to hear, like in a real time, a murderer, a killer, assassin, I'm going to give you a chance to hear one right now. It's my mother. It's uh, disturbing for me to say this, but this is a killer. This is an assassin that should have been locked up already a long time ago. And it's still outside. And it's going foremost after me. She is desperate. She's just she's just becoming desperate in her acts. This is what I was doing tonight. was Bob. So she named the dog after me. She did. She really did. Bobby, Bob. There you go. So that should sound familiar. I said, why is his name? And Bob is. Okay. Why don't you recall this war zone decision? How not? Her name, this is not a So, play, and she's laughing. He <laughs> he, years old. She says, we're not the... We're gonna do it like this. We're gonna also copy this, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna amplify. You know, I was not allowed to use a chainsaw I'm not allowed to, to do anything that males do, like a male work throughout in my entire life. Um, they just rated me as insane, as crazy. She's got a grammar school, and I'm a mechanical engineering technician. And I was not allowed my entire life to grab a chainsaw and do some male work or something like this, because I'm just a de degenerated idiot. Dangerous to myself, basically. That's how she pitied me. They wanted me to collect, uh, do like a primitive stuff, like collecting stones and, and branches from the garden. Uh, no way would I be allowed to, hey, for the first time I was now allowed to use, I don't want to get into it because this is insane stuff, man. Yeah, I see Bobby. And Bobby is already 13 years old. So I want to give him a little bit to drink, but he doesn't want. She says, we're not too far. 
Isto desko daš lahko v svoj avto. V svoj avto. Fotro avto v isto stanje spravi, kot je bil. Raba po drezica pa desko. Misliš, da boš v avto spal? Tam imaš svojo kareto, pa da je desko v noc. Ti sem povedala. Sem ti povedala. Tam imaš svojo kareto, tisto desko, ki si je v avto očetil, dal jo, da je ven, če ne je policijo poklicala. Ok. Avto ni tvoj. Ok. Lahko ga voziš, ni pa tvoj. Ok. She says you can drive the car, but the car is not yours. I am going to call the police. You are to move those things out. Tisto gasko sem bil tam zaradi, ker bo šel v Ljubljano. Ne bo šel. Ne. That's the biggest fear. I said I put place the desk inside because I'm going to go to Ljubljana. And that's why she goes completely insane. You will not go. Ne. Ker bom policijo poklicala. I will call the police. You will not go. I will call the police. Ne bo šel. Zakaj je pa bila deska? Da tu da boš spal noter. Tako. Ne, ne bo šel. He said, why was there a desk? So that you will sleep inside. Yes, yes, mom. That's exactly why I put one inside. So that I can sleep inside. Save myself a money. That's right. No, you will not. You will not. In ključ od avta mi dej. Tisto bo mesto bilo. Ključ od avta mi dej takoj. She start banging on a table and demands the key from me right now. She said, give me the key right now. And the key is on the table. The key is on the table in front of her. Tisto desko sem noter dal, zato da bom lahko noter bil. Pa ne boš, tam ne imaš avto, v garaži, tam. Da je desko noter, pa boš noter spal. Mama, ti se mu za 2-3 dni, da stvari upravimo v Ljubljani. Nema. Ja? Ne? Ne. Ok. So I said, this mom, this is just for the 2-3 days that I get my things done, that's all. Ja. Abusive. Ok. Še kaj drugega? Ne. Ja. Kaj hočeš fotra za točku, kar hitro se da? Baraba, to ga ti hočeš, ne? Ti bi ga rekel. Zakaj? Se mi ne dovoliš do Ljubljane prideti? Kaj pa imaš ti v Ljubljani? Zakaj pa ne? S fotrom. Kaj imaš ti v Ljubljani s fotrom? Zakaj pa ne? Zato, ker sebi pomagaj v Ljubljani. Ne vse to ni treba. Zakaj pa ne? On je bolj pri pameti. Ne hočeš za točt? Teč. Za točen si ti tle noter. Teč, hitro, teč. We had a heated conversation. Uh, this is uh, quite amazing. This is quite amazing. I am going to go ahead and I tell you what. We're going to add this stuff here. Okay, that's nice. Now, let's just yeah, see, see Bobby. Type on that. I'm going to demonstrate you what kind of conversation was it. Okay, I'm going to put everything here at the end. I am going to play you this. It's like a 30 minutes long. But the first thing I'm going to do for this video, I decided I'm going to take you down. I'm going to actually burn this stuff too. Right, let's do it like this. And what we're going to do is, Mm -hmm. oh, I got it like 
this. And it should do me pretty fast. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna push it down for the so that it's not gonna uh, look like I am some kind of uh, vagabond, somebody who does a damage at home or something like this. Because she really made an impression to me that uh, she is up in trouble for the problems more than what she already created, so it's not good. I'm also going to go ahead and close all this, and that should definitely increase the speed. Easier on my laptop. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, I haven't done anything. Oh, she locked the car. She locked the car. She now locked the car. Let's see if I can. Yeah, that's stuff done. Okay, so I was capable to open the car because there's another key here. I'm not going to use the car. Actually, I don't want to use this car anymore at all. I don't. I don't want to use. Uh, if she wants to drive the car, whatever she wants to do, she's going to have to hire somebody. I'm not doing that stuff no more. She was the one who removed the desk. I did. I did not remove the desk. She was the one who did this. Um, that's a hell of a heavy desk too. I'm surprised how she did this. I don't know how she did this. Maybe she also did some damage to the car. Uh, but. Uh, probably I would say that she had somebody who came and assist her. And I am not fucking taking care of the car. This is not my car. Uh, I am going to pull the stuff. Uh, dirty car, how the fuck dirty? Everything is being cleaned up totally totally cleaned up car uh, so somebody came and gave her assistance but the car is clean is new really and I'm not fucking doing that no more she is now on her own. But there is something else to it. I worked very hard to prepare the desk and everything, which is rather here. So somebody came and gave her a hand with the desk so that she would pull out. This is actually very well prepared. Cleaned up everything uh, with something that removes, kills the mold. Edges are being, I use the file and I dress the whole thing and then I'm back and so on and so forth. This is insane, man. This is crazy. Uh, I would rather assume that whatever mother out there will be proud of all the sun like this, but it's not like this here. She told me, when it comes to Ljubljana, you need to look for yourself for the psychiatric help. Uh, your father is much smarter than you. You're the one who needs help and stuff like this. That's all, all you recorded this morning. Too. I don't have anything else I would say to this. The only thing I'm going to do, ladies and gentlemen, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to play you audio
This is domestic violence. This is domestic violence. Try to be with the person who is missing. And that's all there is uh, in this video. Two people identified. Everybody involved in MKL trial knew exactly the status about future status about my father uh, to the degree that I was asked so many times how the father is doing. Uh, they were fucking around with me during MK Ultra, how the father is going to die and so on and so forth. Like you say, lemonade, like a joke. I was probably told a thousand times with the people involved in MK Ultra how father is going to die. Uh, extreme, extremely disrespect of the whole thing. And the thing is that this is an old man. They got him inside of the hospital and home for elderly people several times and rehabilitated him back. And uh, it's a third time or fourth time that that just might not happen. That's where the problem is with the whole thing. Uh, he became aware of it because of the state. I have found him already one time. He was, he was on the brink of the dead, I video recorded. And that's when I went on the internet and demanded basically to revive him, to bring him back to life. All I'm going to do, ladies and gentlemen, now is I'm going to play you the audio here. From the beginning to the end, this is the one here now. Yeah, that's all there is. I ain't got nothing else I would say to this. 30 minutes, it is. And to the right below, I'm going to also uh, post entire audio. So I still feel that this is important. Yep. May 4. Другий не фальтер Yeah, 
Sveicis no skiepoče. Poče. Moj? Jā. 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 Vedno, ampak zdaj se še bolj zanimivo rad. Stvarno še bolj, če mi je hodil z vsekno, se če se sve več. In zdaj se iz Ljubljane. Ne, nimate kakšnega, kakšne smetije tam per Ivančni kvitačga. Gro super, že roba. Ne, ne, sem na počitnem, sem na strugo hodil. Na strugu se nastavlja v teh? Ja, zdaj se ga sta malo bolj spremljati. Madonna, to gre pa tisno zdaj, ne ali zdaj, ali zdaj. Ja, ne vem, zdaj nisem vse premnađe. Ne, ne, jaz vam povem, kako je bilo vse to. Kako je bilo... Če je bilo leto, se pravi, vazga vse je to se spomni. Ne, starga potra se spomni to. Vazga vse je to se spomni. Ne vem, starga vse je to, vazga vse je to se spomni. Tu je on, tu je bilo še leto. Pardon, a ste vidla kaj je kakšna cena? Še tam do enega dva tisoč, osem ga leta si ga še hodil v bistvu. Letnic pa jaz ne poznam. Ne, ne, od 95. Ne, je tukaj bil staroče, ne oče, staroče bil tukaj. Staroče bil tukaj, staroče. Ne, majko, bi znat, moti veliko, boš prsteti šimo. Bom, 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 še rampo bom, pardon, moram rampo reči. Mislim, da vas moram. Ampak, ampak. Do 2008. To je pač smato visoko sve. Visoko sve, ja. Tako je vaša žena bila umrla kao se. Moja žena ni umrla, moja žena je še kako živa. Vsak dan bolj. Ona, 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 se pravi vaša žena. Kje pa vi živite? Ona je bila blondina, ne? Blondinca je bila, ne? Nije, se čas izgleda, ker blonda pa ni. Ampak je bila majša bila blondinka, ne? Ne, 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 ni dva niso, žena sploh ni stega konca. Kako? Žena ni stega konca. Jaz pa še nisem rekel, da je stega konca. Ne, 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 ne. Ona je, bolj tudi ni bila, ker je na Dolenskem do tega le. Tudi na Strugin koli ni bila. Ja. Ja, žena koli ni bila na Strugin. Jaz sem hodil kot otrok, ker je bil staroče tam, ne? Ja. On je bil direktor za druge ena na Strugin. Ja, tam je bila tnihijska zadruga. Aha, ja. Tam, ki se zdaj golfi grišča pa tako naprej, tam se glenije, polja in tako naprej. Pa se bo našli, kot mi sem pa trkil. Pa mi je vse očkalo, zdaj že dok nisem bil tam. Tam, ki so bili kojni, pa tako naprej. Se še tam 2005, 2000, ne vem, lej. 2008, da se si se vedno hodil tam. Ne vem, res ne vem. Bil sem pa kot mehen, ki je vsak let dva meseca na počutnem kanče. Zdaj zato smo tudi hotel te nekaj za odmene. Aaaa, Madonna. Sorry, kako je mi ime? Kdaj je bilo to, je umrlo 99 leta pa. Ne vem, ej, ne vem. Ti ni šel tudi, ne vem. Majda živa. Kako je mi ime?
Bati je sestena. Šel v tisti kmetijski zadrgi, ki je močeš in tako naprej v mestu in tako naprej. To je bil šer. Veliki šer je bilo. Tako da on je umrl v 99. leta. Močan je bil močan, še vedno takrat. Dva tisoče ena, zelo močan, tak mejšen je bil. Kako se ne tijela z mlakom? Zdaj se mi povedal. Ja, ja. Kako je oče? Zdrav je, vredo. A oče? Zakaj ne pride več v krok? Kako? Zakaj ne pride več? A ja, za oče zakaj ne pride več? Zdaj bom povedal, samo ena stvar bilo se pravi. Vete? Da so oče bil tako manjci. Oče ni bil nisak. Tako je nek 175 cm. Ja, skupaj zdaj. 175 cm. In... Vaša žena pa ne, ona ima tek čerko pa sina imate, ne? Ja. No, veste, da se poznamo. Pa ej, ej. In še kaj drugega. Pa, to mi res. Zdaj pa se prašam vas, kako je moj oče, ajde, vidite da je to malo. Kako je vaš oče? Ja. Ne vem, kako ne ima mesto, vem, kako je vaš oče. Če ne vem. Torej, da bi bil malo zbog, da je da se z mene, da se ne vem. Aj. Vi ste že vidi dober kolega, bil v psihijatri. Tako sem. Tako se je dve parcele tu, da tako je seveda zelo dobro skoli. Zato vprašam, kako je moj oče. Dobar dan. Kam pa biti vaš ekipa? Zdravo. 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 Oh, Bobby! Ser Bobby! Bobby! Oh, kuk je pa ser? Ser je najsled. Kaj pa, če mu jaz malo zapit dam? Zapit? Ja. Če jo ne smo prav deleč, nekdi ne, in lahko še izajem. 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 Lahko še izajem.
Vem da vista lokalna, tako še vem, vse se spomnim, mrh. Čega v pasah, da se ne spomnim? O, tu bi se pa videla, ko malo spomnim. Če bi se še vina, ki ne obrajtala tukaj, če je vse bila vojna, prela do konca. Je bilo pa še tvoj. A, vse z Bešjan. Bešjan, a vse. A, vse? Ja. Če so bila samo še vi, dala v tej dospej, ki je bilo. Da ga se bilo pa sve totalna vojna. Iz Krke. Malo več pil sem mu vrjetno takrat. En, ki sem mu tudi men. Sem tako in gor in gor. Pa se me ne spomne pa pravi. Ne, ne. Mladena se spremenja. Nisem ne zvlad, jaz sem te spustil lete skr. Ampak eno prijateljstvo se spomnim, da se mora z njo se podila kot. A ja? Eno prijateljstvo, ki bo vrjetno vaša soseda. Vaša soseda je bila. Če imate vi, vi imate... Eno čerko imate sigurno. Eno, ja. Eno. Ja, iz Krke. Iz Krke. Delala se pa v mestu, ampak probaš se spomeniti, kam bi vas del. Ali se tu Labodi sem delala? Labodi. Ali se tu kaj pa mami in je? Anča, Ana. Ana. Ja. Je se tu Labodi delala? Ne. Soseda moja, Jermanova je delala. A, Jermanova... Slavka. Jermanova Slavka. Ja. In vi ste vse vtopili... Zdaj se vse vam povedal, vi ste bila do konca, v Labode. A... O, ja. Takrat, ki je Labod propal. O, takrat, ki je Labod propal, ja. Samo zdaj probam nekaj drugega skalkulirati, ne. Vi ste, vam je vse takrat... Vse vam je manjkalo v ne tri leta nekaj tako, da se mi spar let bilo mu manjkalo do pogojitve, nekaj tako, ne? Ja, to je manjkalo mi je to, da sem bila na zavodu. Na zavodu ste bila? Ja, pa se sem tukaj. Pa ste, čakaj, dajte mi se povedati ena druga stvar, ne? Tu, tu ste se postali na zavod. Tu se probam... Enih pet let se pa so se pa v penzijo, kot je nekaj. Koliko je manjkalo? Dve let je manjkalo. Dve let? Kaj je pravi, zdi je bila vojna, tle, kaj je bila naroba? Jo, ne vem, koga je bila naroba. Ampak vprašal bi vas se, glede vas ga moža, tudi nega se spomnim. On je pa tako bolj spetel, kot se vi. On je bolj tako spetel. Ja, on je spetel. Tako? Bil je zdaj, ja. Ja, ampak bil je pa tak, bolj blond, tak, svetal je bil. Ne čist blond. Ja, ampak malo je bil. Malo je bil, ja. Malo je bil. In njega se pa spomnim, ki je prihajal iz mesta, iz dela. Pa ne vem, koga je bil. Je bil gasilc, je bil... Ne, 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 Ampak se sem hotel reči, da se tudi, da se malo premislim tole. Se pravi, je bilo tako, pa oni so rej še dve. Oni so pa prej v penzijo. Ne, ne, so še iz prej. Oni so vedno delali? Ne. Oni so delali, ja. Niso on ta prvi. Ne, ne. Oni so v redu na noj. Ja. Ja, jaz se z vaše hiše noter spomnim, kako izgleda. Garaza, vse. Ja, jaz vi pravite, da se me ne spomnite, jaz se vas spomnim. Vas da mu za čerko mate. Kaj bi si pa bil tam na tako mesto? Veste, kako je, ko se zapisala za... Kako? Če kaj delal, ko sem mala zdela. Ne. Tu mi morate vi povedati, kaj sem delal. Ne vem, ne vem, jaz se te prav nekaj ne spomnim. Jaz vem zemelj, ki nisem. Ja, jaz vem zemelj. Ja. A jaz krka se doma. Ja. A ne ne ne. Ja, vaša krka se spomnim, se pravi tudi. Ej, pa losna je, pa... 
este pa porotila, pa... Nu, nu, nu este porotila. Nu este porotila? Da, da. Pa e... Nu e la inga fanta, e pe misor. Da. Pe după... Tam 20... Direcul tam inga 28... Da, da, da. 28... E pa ca e nu rata lui, nu știu ce este. Nu e mult rot, nu? Da, da. Fanta e? Da, da, da. Resno? Da. A, tako. Ja, meni je bilo tako vsejet, pa jaz sem jaz pa nisem bil vsejet, jaz sem mu pa preveč kil samo. To je bilo. Aj, ona je bila, ona je bila tam enega leta, 2008, bi se nisem bilo sem najsvet stala, ne. 2008? Ja. Ja, mislim, če bi zelo temu se prstel 15 let, pa bi bilo 33 let je stara. Koliko je stara? No, I love it! Ja? Se pravi, da je bilo starejšo, da je imela več let. Ne, če sem dobro povedal. Ja, kot takšen pa se drug za povedal. Raj sem ga lesto pa ni, ne moram napisati. Ja. Ne, jaz sem pa mislila, če si mogoče k stelcu. Pa stelcu? Gre pa si k stelcu. Mislim, ker po prejim ti pa ne poznam. Bil? Se ga spomnim, že. Se ga že spomnim. A, čakaj malo, čakaj, ne, ne, red, red. Se ga že spomnim. Zelo, zelo prijazen fant je bil, tako se to je bil tudi, ne? Ja, tudi mejhen je bil. Pa sestra je imel, ne? Ne, ne. Ni imel sestra on? Ne. Bolj mejhen je bil? Bolj mejhen je bil, pa je tle že bil pa rupir, pa je pa so mami živet, če ne, pa 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 ne, Ja, bi mi si priznala, zdaj, če se bi ga sredila. Zato sem mislila, če si mogoče... A, kje, dajte mi povedi, kje je Jorčka ta. Kje, kje, kje. Ne vem, ne vem, ne vem, ne vem, ne vem, ne vem. A, pa on ni mu sestr. Ne. Niti brata ni imel. On ima tukaj dva pol brata. Dva pol brata. Ja. Pa je, če mi povedite nekaj, kaj se je zgodilo z njimi? Tu mi povejte, ker je tukaj se zdal, je bil nekaj psihiatrijo nekaj tako, zdaj je bilo. Socialne nekako se zanimljati. Tam je bilo nekaj, ja. V Nicoso jih nisem tisto tako povedal. Ja, oče pa mama se se nekela, pa je pa mama se ne bilo pripravila, pa se ne bilo pripravila, tam se ne trohe, pa ne vem, koli si in kaj. Pa je, kaj pa oče? Oče pa živijo tukaj. Oče tukaj živijo? Ja, pa se je ponovno porosno. Pa je bil malo problematičen učen, je malo, pa je bil malo živahen prvec. Pa je pa enkrat v Jezuse, ko so ga tle malo, malo so ga hotel pod kontrolo drži. Veliko so ga probali. Se je pa razjezel, je pa to. Pa ga pa nisem nič tukaj zatvoril. Pa splave oči, pa tak. Ja, še kaj ti je bil otrok, veš, nič ga ne bi ne poznajo. Ki je šel tu, ki je bil otrok? Ja, ja, ja. A, pol je on nazaj pa prihajal. Pa je pol on, ja, tu pol on živi, kot kar jaz razumem tam, ki je šel na to tak, ja? Ne, ne. Zdravljamo čas pa malo. Ne, ne, ne. A ni tu, a ni tu Srpska gora, pa pa če Srpska gora na drug stran? Nekako je tako? Nekje je sam živi, da ne bi zdaj na tle živi in poznala ga ne bi zdaj več, takrat sem ga poznala. Kako se ti se pravite? Kastelic. Kastelic Joško. Kastelic Joško. Ja. Lele je še hodil v osnovno šolo, je še takrat. Tako mlad je bil, ja? Tako mlad je bil, ja. Tako mlad je bil. Ja, pa v jehu. Ja, pa ta mama njegova je bila lepa, jaz se spomnim. Mama njegova je pa... O, je bila lepa ženska tu. Je bila pa doma tam le nekaj iz rato zaj. A, tako? Ja. Ti jaz te pa bila blondinka. Ja, to pa bila bolj blondinka. Blondinka, ja. Ja. To, to je pa to ne več. 
Samo še kaj vedel? Povejte, o čije se poznamo. Ne vem, ne vem. Če vi kaj... Če vi kaj... Če vi kaj... Če vi kaj zelo, a se bi se rečil, izvan zemlj, ki sem rekel prej. Če vi se pa rečil, ki se slovenski, izvan zemlj, ki? Ekstra se spevljaj. Če vi kaj sem okvarjate, ali kaj? Mora da izvi vapce s kakšim magnetom, kaj tazga, kaj? Ajde, možda pozdravite. Dio. Ok. Dio, I see Bobby. And Bobby is already 13 years old. So I want to give him a little bit to drink, but he doesn't want. She says, we're not too far. Misliš, da boš v avtu spal? Tam imaš svojo kareto, pa da je desko noc. Pred barabin. Kaj se ne spomne? Vej. Ti sem povedala. Sem ti povedala. Tam imaš svojo kareto, isto desko, ki si je v avto očetel dal jo, da je ven, če ne je policijo poklicala. Ok. Avto ni tvoj. Ok. Lahko ga voziš, ni pa tvoj. Ok. Tisto desko sem dal tam, zaradi tega, ker bom šel v Ljubljano. Ne bo šel. Ne? Ne. Ker bom policijo poklicala. Ne bo šel. Ok. Zakaj je pa bila deska? Zato, da boš spal noter. Tako. Ne, ne boš. In ključ od avta mi dej. Tisto bom jaz... Ključ od avta mi dej takoj. Tisto desko sem noter dal, zato da bom lahko noter bil. Pa ne boš, tam ne imaš avto, v garaži, tam. Da je desko not, pa boš noter spal. Mama, te samo za dva, tri dni, da stvarijo pravo v Ljubljani. Nema, nema. Ja? Ne? Ne. Ok. Brez krpi. Ok, še kaj drugega? Ne. Kaj hočeš fotra za točku, kar hitro se da? Baraba, to ga ti hočeš, ne? Ti bi ga rekel. Zakaj? Se mi ne dovoliš do Ljubljane priditi? Kaj pa imaš ti v Ljubljani? Zakaj pa ne? S fotrom. Kaj imaš ti v Ljubljani s fotrom? Zakaj pa ne? Zato, ker sebi pomagaj v Ljubljani. Ne vse to ni treba. Zakaj pa ne? On je bolj pri pameti. Ga hočeš zatočiti? Teč. Zatočiti se ti tle noter. Teč, hitro, teč. We had a heated conversation with my mother. Really heated conversation right now with the mother. At the end of this video, I'm gonna demonstrate you what kind of conversation was it.
Firefox. Come on, Foxy. Let's do it. Yes. And that's about it. The date and time we take also. Oh, if it's going to be one day, it will be okay. Wow. It's taking him a lot to get this done. Let's see. What Huh, no, check this out. Let's see what we have going on here. CPU. Firefox, 20, 30% Firefox. What is going on? All right, so this is the time and date when I finished the project. Yeah, of course, I did work overnight. It's not pleasant when somebody comes in the morning with you like this. That's actually domestic violence. 